how to really start selling on eBay. What products you need to sell, what suppliers you need to work with. And at the end, like I understand everybody is just trying to make a decent living here. How are you going to receive the money inside your bank account and how are you going to process the order before you make any kind of financial commitment? Because we need to really understand, do we even have a time for it? Is it something that we can actually do at the end of day as well? For maybe some people who don't know me, my name is Zencha and I've been selling on eBay and Amazon from past uh, 11 years almost. I started in 2012 and uh, I came to in, in, in this country as an immigrant, like you can tell probably from my accent at the end of the day anyway. Uh, but all of this English and all of the business and each and everything, I didn't came with it. I didn't came from Pakistan like this. So I have to really work my way up and learn each and everything. I'm not saying like I, I am perfect and I have like probably achieved each and everything, but I think I do make a decent living nowadays as compared to the way I started maybe like, you know, seven, eight years ago, I started uh, in the telecom company working as a salesman. So I used to start like nine o'clock in the morning, finish that job like seven o'clock in the evening and then start working 7.30 again, like half an hour after that as a waiter inside the restaurant and finish that three o'clock in the evening and sorry, three o'clock in the morning. And I like, honestly, uh, th that was not like a way for anybody to live at the end of day. I was just sleeping for like four and five hours every single day. But for me sitting here today, my point is not really to like kind of start bashing on the people who are in a nine to five circle, because that's the only option sometime to put the food on a table and there is nothing wrong with the, it. And as a man, it's, it is our responsibility to really provide for the family at the end. So that's the only option sometime. But I realize, like, you know, uh, this is not really a way to continue in a life because at certain age, you can't really do this as soon. Now I'm 29. So let's say if I will be 40, there is no way that I will have that capacity to work like that, only sleep four hours and then do two jobs at the same time at minimum wage, which hardly pays my bill at the end of day. So I started my business in the beginning selling a stuff from like a local shop, Poundland, Asda, Tesco. Then I started with the drop shipping and then I started with obviously buying the stuff in a bulk at the end of day. But the point which I'm trying to make, like I absolutely came from nothing. You know what I mean? And then I grew my business slowly, slowly. But the only thing which I did, and that's like probably the best thing which uh, happened to me in my entire life that I started, <laughs> you know, if I never started, I, I was probably doing the same job up until today as well. So a lot of people, uh, they like ask me, first of all, like, is it really a good time in 2023 to get started with e-commerce? And I think you can just go to your local high street shop and see how many shops are closing every single day. And amount of people who are actually buying online as compared to 10 years ago have increased, like especially after the pandemic. So that is a huge demand. And trust me, even in 2023, I'm going to show you some examples right here. I, you know, the, even as a new seller, you can make a really, really decent money. But to, to do that, all you have to do is to get started. So the first of all, the first thing that you're going to need to do is to actually create an account on eBay. And uh, a lot of people ask me before we actually, you know, go on and create our account. A lot of people ask me, is the drop shipping is even within eBay terms and condition? Is it something that you can do? Is it legal? The reason I'm talking about drop shipping, because with the drop shipping, you won't really have to make a lot of upfront investment. I, I didn't have no money. So I assume like a lot of people in the same condition as well. So the way I recommend that you start with the drop shipping and then you can slowly, slowly like I did move on to buying the things in bulk from China. So that will be a perfect way to do it. So with the with the drop shipping, a lot of people ask me this one. So you can really see right here. It, this is on the eBay website, by the way. So it is saying drop shipping, also known as product sourcing, is a way of selling item on eBay without ever handling the item yourself. Drop shipping, where you fulfill the order from a wholesaler, is allowed on eBay. You can see right here. So the drop shipping supplier, which I'm going to talk about, and the one I actually recommend to the people are actually proper wholesale suppliers. They don't sell directly to the customer. And that's the most viable option to sell on eBay without having to do a lot of upfront investment as well. So 
this is what we're gonna talk about right in this particular training session so what you need to do first of all uh you know first of all le let me know like where everybody is watching from that will be great but you need to create an account on ebay right here so ebay will give you two options personal account and a business account i recommend creating a business account a lot of people ask me they already have an account as well so if you already have a personal account then use that account you don't need to create a new account i don't even recommend upgrading our account as well so if ebay is okay with it you can just still keep on selling as a personal uh, seller you don't need to upgrade it but if you do want to upgrade it you can just upgrade it to the business account as well so business name you can choose any name for your business that doesn't really matter you don't need to register a limited company you can sell it as a sole trader you don't need to like have that company registered so business name business email can be like any gmail account you will be like okay to do that put the password like i think that all of that is really really you know self explanatory i don't know how to pronounce that and don't check this box at the end right here where it say i only want to buy on ebay i don't want to sell on ebay right here so you don't need to check that box right there leave that box empty so after when you create an account on ebay you can actually use your own personal bank account you don't need to have your uh, uh, business account to sell on ebay you can use your own personal bank account that will be completely fine ebay doesn't work with the paypal anymore so it has to be the bank account but once you're going to link your bank account what the ebay do they do like a small transaction inside your account they're going to send you a little bit of money it's not going to be million we're going to make million we're going to talk about it like probably going to be 1p 2p or 9p at the end so you need to tell like how much amount they have sent it going to ask you once you're going to log in and it can ask you inside the ebay account as well so once you have created a uh, created an account but i recommend for a lot of people like buy something for a few days like very small small cheap item you don't have to buy expensive item get at least at least five six feedback to get started so the point of having that feedback let me give you one example right here if i go on ebay right here it will let's say i open this uh one right here this one like you can see rock solid right here they have like this number at the end like 21,814 obviously they have a lot of feedback so this number will actually dictate how much feedback do you have so you in the beginning the whole purpose is just to remove zero from the front and the hack is you can actually receive that feedback as a, a buyer as well you don't have to sell anything so during like at least i recommend like three weeks get some a uh, feedback a little bit then your account will be a little bit established and you will have some feedback on your account uh next thing that you need to do because as i recommend you can start with the drop shipping i'm going to talk about uh, one particular supplier right here i'm going to show you the products that you can actually list from there as well this is a, a salesy and they are obviously uk based supplier so with the uk based supplier what you need to do is uh, once you come right here click on their warehouse right here and they have a warehouse in uh, uk right here so once you click on their uk warehouse you're going to see the products that they have inside their uk warehouse so for example what i was looking at before this chair which they have right here they are only charging 55 uh for this one it comes with free shipping as well and they can ship like within like the customer will receive this one within three to five days so this sales is a proper drop shipping supplier it would like uh you know falls under ebay terms and condition as i you know told you before and uh, they don't ship like like if i need to go and buy this for myself i can't do it they will ask me the transaction id for ebay as well so it only has to be like once you are dealing with the drop shippers so a recent uh, like uh, a student the student of mine their account you can actually check it right here called park glazing they are selling this one for 83.99 on ebay and they already have sold four of them so this is only obviously just one example so they recently started very like a week ago it's been more than a week actually a couple of weeks i will say uh and then you can check their account right here they have done 3777 sales so far you can see and uh, these are all drop shipping item that they have listed on their account right here so with with this is obviously the sale they have around like 30 to 40 percent profit margin so they are making it out like 1200 to 1500 pound every single month and they let 
are like absolutely new seller like they have no idea how to get started and all that kind of stuff as well so once you come to sales e let me open that sales e website again right here this is a uh, their best seller section right here so inside their best seller section uh if this loads up they have all of these products right here so once you come right here you can select the warehouse to uk warehouse so obviously all the products that you will see will have like a pound currency and then the the uk warehouse stock as well and all of these are available inside the uk warehouse including these chairs and all that different types of stuff as well and this is like 11 pages and they have like a 42 items on e 42 pages so they have like over 500 items just in uh, inside the uk warehouse so this is the way you're going to be able to start with the drop shipping so what i recommend like list like five to ten items and once you list these five to ten items then you can obviously see which ones are getting more views and after like uh, 15 days that's what i recommend inside like the course inside to my students as well after 15 days you will be able to see which one are getting more views so once which are not getting more views remove them and then replace them with a different item obviously they have 500 items